This is Red Campion, Silene Diwerker. It has a long flowering season from April through to around early autumn. It can be found in woodlands, but it's most common along hedgerows. They have five bright pink petals that are notched. The petals fuse at the base to form a tube. And that tube is surrounded by a purplish brown calyx. So that's the calyx there. And the flowers are scentless. The leaves grow in opposing pairs. They're oval and come to a pointed tip. The leaves and the stems are hairy. Red Campion is a good food source for bees, moths and butterflies. Here's another type of campion. This is Sea Campion, Silene uniflora. And you'll find this growing in dense mats like this all around the coast. There's another campion that looks very similar to this, bladder campion. And that's more commonly found inland. And also the bladder campion will have several flowers per stem, whereas sea campion only has one flower per stem, hence the name Silene uniflora. Sea campion flowers have five white petals that are deeply notched. Sometimes the petals can be folded in front of each other. The sepals are green with purplish veins and they look inflated. And also the flowers are scentless. The leaves grow in an opposite arrangement and they're a greyish green colour and they have quite a waxy feel to them. These lovely little flowers are cowslips, Primula veris. They appear just after their cousins, the primroses. They look similar to primrose in a few ways. Their leaves are pretty much the same. They're oval with a crinkly texture. The flowers look quite similar. The main difference being that primrose only has one flower per stem and cowslips have many flowers per stem. Also, cowslip flowers are smaller and more tubular. The flowers have five petals, which are bright yellow, and the petals are notched. And you'll see there's little orange markings in the center of the petals. You'll mostly see cowslips in April and May and cowslips get their name from the old way of saying cowpats because they're found growing in meadows alongside grazing cattle. They used to be fairly rare in the UK but now they're quite a common sight especially in the southwest of England where I'm from and in the south of Wales where I am now. You can just see they're everywhere as far as you can see. Although I believe they're still a protected species in Northern Ireland where they're not so common.
This is greater stitchwort, a very common plant in spring that you'll find in grasslands and hedgerows. Walking down country roads, you'll see huge patches of this. You'll see the flowers look quite similar to chickweed. It's got five white petals that look like ten petals because they're deeply notched. Its leaves are lanceolate and grow in an opposite arrangement and they look a bit like grass. A bit like Himalayan balsam, greater stitchwort has explosive seed pods. So if you run your hand through a patch of them when they're in seed, you'll hear this faint popping sound. And because of that popping sound, another name for them is shirt buttons. This is Herb Robert, the flowers are pink and have five petals. It's a very common plant in waste grounds, along roadsides and paths. The leaves and stems are usually bright green, but if they're more exposed to the sun, like this patch here, they can take on more of a red colour. and the leaves, when crushed, give off a smell a bit similar to coriander. These flowers are Lady Smock, a member of the Brassica or mustard family, and typical of the mustard family, they have four petals in a cross. They're quite an upright plant and you'll find them growing in meadows and sometimes in woodlands. Their flowers are white and sometimes a bit pinkish. Another name for them is cuckoo flower and that's because these flowers appear around the same time that you'll start hearing cuckoos in April.